Hey everyone, I am so stoked to be showing you my boardroom today. Thanks for coming with me to Maui, where you're gonna see all of the equipment I use on a daily basis, as well as the mounts that I love to use to put my GoPro and get incredible shots. All right, here we go. We're headed into my boardroom right now. This is the entrance. Wait until you see what hides inside. And there we go. This is what I love to use on a daily basis. So what we have here are all of my favorite short boards. Some boards are better for smaller waves. Other boards are designed for slightly bigger waves. And uh, the taller ones, ever so slightly, are meant for waves like pipeline, chopu, cloud break. So these don't get used as often, but when the right day is on, I know which board I can grab immediately in order to get the best rides possible. So these are some of my favorite big wave guns. These are my bread and butter for when the waves get absolutely giant. Everything from an 8.8 to a 9.4, 9.11, 10-4, now 10-4 is apocalyptic out at Jaws, Mavericks, or Nazare. Uh, these smaller boards are meant to be packing as much foam into one single board in order to get into the biggest wave possible and actually be able to rip because on a really big board, you might be limited. It becomes a little more of survival than it actually does trying to perform. Here are some of my favorite towing boards and I think the reason why they get me so excited is because I know these are what I'm gonna ride the biggest waves of my entire life on. This is for like the apocalyptic day out at Nazare or Massive Jaws, Cortez Bank, Mavericks, wherever it gets just absolutely insanely big. The board itself is made of carbon fiber and is extremely strong, although I've had these boards break into tiny pieces from getting slammed by giant waves. As you can see, the fins are really sharp and meant for speed. You know, it's meant for going 50 to 60 miles an hour. Um, the boards themselves weigh a lot. This is 22 pounds. We basically have bullets layered in here. And the reason why we use bullets is because they're the cheapest and they weigh, you know, the most for their size. Uh, and we're able to basically pack in the weight and get the exact weight we want because not all my boards are 22 pounds. They might vary to 20 pounds, 18 pounds, 16 pounds, 13 pounds, even eight pounds. So you're just kind of like measuring and kind of getting ready for certain spots that might require a different weighted board. Now, people ask me all the time, how come all your boards end up looking the same? or at least very similar. And for me, I've always been inspired by Formula One. I love the technical aspect and then the human capabilities mixed together. So what you get is basically a supernova of extreme speed, precision, and that's what I want in my equipment. I'm gonna show you my favorite mounts that I use to get the shot with GoPro. Some of them may be you know, attached to the board. Some of them may be attached to my kite or my windsurf sail. To start off, my favorite mount, I think actually that GoPro makes is the wrist mount. And it also can go around your hand. I will put this thing on and I can go kite surfing. I can go windsurfing. I could do all of my sports with this. And if I need to film my friend or even myself, I can stick my arm out and get the angle. But then I don't have to worry about hiding the GoPro anywhere. I can just like, completely grab my boom or my bar or, you know, just continue on with surfing. So this mount right here is uh, one I will always travel with and I'll always try to have in my quiver of GoPro accessories. Now, this is just your traditional surfboard mount. Um, if you look at all these boards behind me, especially on the really big boards, I always have one of these mounts. This thing holds really well. As long as you wait 24 hours and you can even use a heat gun to try to like get this extra tacky, stick it on, should be good. Um, one of my favorite um, handles that I use is the Surf Float. I mean, it's just great because I can throw this thing into the water and I can just trust that it's gonna float and, uh, and I can even throw it to my friends and we'll end up swapping camera angles constantly. Um, and it's also soft in case I need to hold it in my mouth. 
The cool thing too about this mount is that I can actually have um, custom pole extension that comes off of this as well, and I've had that in the past. That's how I captured the video with my GoPro Hero Max um, out at Nazare when I was getting absolutely destroyed. Um, and then the mouth mount. This is like the best, I would say, two in one because I can slide this mount straight onto um, the board mount in case I'm not using it, but then I can always stick it in my mouth and get my POV. These are custom 3D printed by um, the Mile High View. It's uh, for kites. See these little notches, the lines go through that and it gets stuck into the line and it, it really has a really unique perspective, kind of like a drone, but it's just in the lines and um, these things are really light, but strong. Um, for winging, now there's not a whole lot of mounts that you could really do for winging, but when I use um, this one, it goes around the leading edge. So basically the front of the wing, um, just on the outside of where I'd be holding on to kind of the bar or the strut as it's called, this goes on there and it's made by fly mount and you can basically attach the hero 10 or even a GoPro max on it. And it looks really cool. It's unique and, uh, it's kind of out of your way. Uh, if you use the voice feature on the GoPro, you can just be like, Hey, GoPro stop recording. <laughs> You can tell the GoPro to stop or keep going. Um, I just told my GoPro to, uh, I'm not gonna say it again. <laughs> I ended up finding this really cool mount at my local surf shop, High Tech Surf Sports, and uh, it's this narwhal mount that kind of just sticks directly to the nose of my board, and it's crazy because I don't even notice it when I'm surfing, but the shots look really cool because it kind of gives you that perspective in front of the nose, and you wonder, how is the camera just floating out there? Well, it's the narwhal mount, and uh, I got some cool footage from Honolulu Bay on that, which is super fun. But yeah, as you can see, um, one of the GoPro mounts is sort of disguised. Little uh, paint job right over it. And then we have this, which is just um, another mount. You know, and the GoPros used to all come with this, uh, which is just the FCS fin tab and it goes directly into my big wave boards and I can screw it in. Um, the reason why I really like that is because there is no wave that's gonna probably rip the GoPro out before the board breaks in half. And I can just trust that when I come up, my GoPro will still be there because there's nothing worse than losing your GoPro when the conditions are pumping and you feel like you got a once in a lifetime shot. Now that you've seen my boardroom, let's go check out where my jet skis and boats live. All right, we made it here to my secret jet ski lair. I mean, I have a lot of jet skis now, but there's a reason behind it because, um, you know, I've lost them on the rocks from time to time. And, you know, we have a big team now and we're trying to get the shot. We're trying to get the best waves. We're trying to have the best safety possible. Fortunately, I have the best jet ski pilots that can ride these while I am surfing and make sure that I'm getting towed into the waves. We're getting saved by them. Um, these are my steeds and it's really important we keep them ready to go. And as you can see, all the lids are open and the seats are off because if you wanna get that air moving through the engine compartment, it doesn't get stuffy and you don't let that salt water corrode the engine. So right here, in complete eye shot vision. I got four jet skis, all Yamahas, um, 1812cc's, basically murdered out for riding the biggest waves in the world. Um, as you can see, I kind of leave them all open to air out because it's really critical that we um, keep these things running perfectly because no one wants to be in a position out in big waves where things go wrong and we lose the uh, equipment because it fails on us. We actually put these bumpers on all the jet skis now because what it does is add stability, climbs whitewater much better, and you can actually walk around the front. So it's, it's really key. Everything on these are geared towards getting towed in or being a safety vehicle rather than just like a pure thrill craft. A pure thrill craft could be considered like this sea -Doo spark that I just got. Needs to be broken in, which means I gotta like get the engine running and I gotta go through sort of a sequence to get it all up and going. But it has, it's pretty fun. It has little speakers. Um, it's just this little weapon, little little rocket that is, um, it is so perfect for just, you know, getting out on the water. And I think my, uh, my twin girls will have a lot of fun on that as their first jet ski ripping around. Just as important as it is to have a really good jet ski with a good jet ski driver, it's also important to have these. These are safety sleds. 
So what these do is um, they attach to the back of the jet ski and when the jet ski comes in to save you, the driver can pull you up onto the back and you can lay on this basically big bodyboard. These ones are inflatable in the front and these are basically big boogie boards. They're made just like bodyboards, maybe a little bit stronger. Um, so I have a ton of them all for a jet ski so that um, every single one is ready. This is my Coast Guard boat, de decommissioned Coast Guard boat. Uh, this is this is the vehicle that gets us up to Jaws and back, um, inner island crossings. It's a really a lot of fun. Um, I love this thing. It's basically just a massive jet ski, but it's just cool to, you know, I've always wanted to own like a Coast Guard boat because I think they're awesome and we love the Coast Guard. Now here's a tour of inside my boat. This thing is like just a cockpit. You know, you got even seat belts for high speed. This boat goes about si like 60 miles per hour and um, it can go through in any seas. So I'll be over here, you know, sometimes driving, sometimes I'm just the passenger, but man, it is, it is too much fun. Look at this thing, it's insane. So now we're on top of the Coast Guard boat. I have a giant sled is where I can rig up all of my equipment and basically get everything prepped to jump out in the water. Um, it's also good in case someone ever gets injured, you can actually go and lay on that and like, you know, resuscitate people. Thank you for coming on a tour to my warehouse, my boardroom. I hope you have a really great day and, you know, hope you can get out on the water and enjoy it. Look forward to seeing you out there. Aloha.